Our world is falling apart. And in that state of obsession, which in some ways is not entirely unlike the obsession that we can feel in early dating when we like someone, that obsession that we feel when we go on a few dates with someone and we've decided, oh my God, I think this is it. I think this is my person. I see the potential. I see where this can go. I see everything that this could be. And then they don't call us back. <laughs> that obsession that we feel in a breakup is actually very connected to that early dating obsession because it has its roots in the same thing. This person holds the keys to my happiness and my future. When someone breaks up with us, we had pictured a future with that person. We had pictured a life with them, a reality where both of us existed together and now that reality is shattered. The only difference in early dating is that we have a lot less evidence for that reality. There's far more projection involved than is involved in a multi-month or multi-year relationship where we've had a lot more evidence for the fact that this is going to be a big part of my life or this is gonna be my whole life. So there's a kind of obsession that takes over, right? And that's what turns into that obsessive rumination that we feel in a breakup. For many of you, you're there right now in that obsessive rumination. And for those of you that are there, I am sorry. It is the absolute worst. It is a terrible place to be. And it does feel when you're in that place like nothing is going to make us feel better.